incredible season. Um, I didn't do it on my own. I had this incredible team behind me the whole way, uh, back at the, in Brixworth and, and, and Brackley. Uh, great partners uh, like Petronas who helped me, uh, who helped us with our reliability and improving and making this this engine what we uh, what it was and. Um, how I came back, I guess it was really that, that support, that belief that, uh, that I've always really had in myself and, and really working hard with that good group of core people that worked hard in my car, my engineers, my mechanics, who never really gave, never gave up um, the support that I had throughout the year and, and right till the last uh, moment coming across the line. My fans, I mean, I, the amount of British flags that were there yesterday, uh, I was incredibly touched to see so many people there and, and who had come out to enjoy once for one, this great weather in this beautiful country, and the, the coolest, probably the coolest sporting event uh, of the year in terms of Formula One. So, um, yeah, you know, just I grabbed it with two, both hands because you never know when you're going to have a chance like this again. And and so I'm very, I feel very blessed and, and fortunate to be in this position. We were live on Sky Sports News at your your karting track yesterday. It was a, it was a great day for the country uh, in sporting terms. But thinking back to your boyhood dreams. Ayrton Senna was, was your idol. You can mm. now tilt at a, at a third world championship. And, and looking ahead to next year and your defence, do you see Nico as your big rival again? And, and can you talk a little bit about that relationship over the course of the year and where it is now, which seems strong respect between the pair of you re-established? I think naturally we're going to be coming back. Uh, he's going to be coming back strong next year. We had a, a, it was great to have, you know, you always want to have a battle, you know, I, I've never in my whole life ever wanted to have an easy race, you know, you always want to be racing, you know, leading from the front's a great thing, having that, that, uh, that competition is what, is, is what keeps me going, you know, it's, it's that battle, it's the overtaking, it's the, it's the challenge it's through, through mentally and, and, and physically and um, throughout the year, you know, and he did an exceptional job. So I'm grateful for, for his efforts and, and, and at the end also more so for his maturity. You know, uh, you know, we did have a tough year together, lots of ups and downs and I think perhaps we were both stronger for it. And uh, you know, having learnt and gone through that process, I'm, I have no doubts that we're going to have tough, tough moments um, in the future but I think we are better prepared for sure for, for what lays ahead. And I have no doubts, as I said, he's going to be a He's going to be coming back to want to take it from me. So I've got to work exceptionally hard this winter to make sure I come back stronger. Okay. One last thing. Uh, talking to your father last night, he says this is the, the first championship of, of the peak Lewis Hamilton. You've taken a measure of control over everything. This is happening, for example, because you, you want it to happen. You want to talk to your friends on, on Monday. I suppose the next bit of business is, is sorting out your future with Mercedes. I, I know a deal was, was pretty close before Abu mm. Dhabi. Is, is that more or less a formality? And, and how do you see your future with this team? Could you be here for another two, three, four years? Oh, I think without doubt, and, and I hope longer, you know. I, I, I've been with Mercedes. I have been a part of Mercedes since I was 13, so it is a, a natural progression. And, and obviously to be a fully uh, fledged Silver Star member now, it's... Um, it's a, you know, it's an incredible uh, feeling and, and accomplishment. You know, during a season is obviously not the time to really talk about things. And I, I mean, I don't know how it is for you, but naturally, you start, I guess, assessing and, and discussing the future, generally in your last year of your contract. But I mean, we we we're happy uh, of where we are, what we've achieved to, to, together. So, uh, Toto was just saying, in, in the coming weeks, we'll so we'll sit down and. Hopefully it will be a, a simple kind of process to go through, uh, a formality as you said. An incredible 